previously, I've uh, done two tutorials. Uh, one on uh, Bluetooth scanning, finding Bluetooth devices that are around and visible. And I did also did a video on how to start your screensaver, lock your computer, and unlock your computer all from the command line. And we're going to now put those two videos together, those two tutorials together, and we're going to set up our own script that uh, checks to see if your phone is nearby. And if it is, the computer keeps going. But as soon as your phone goes out of range, it's going to lock your computer. And then once your phone comes into range, it's going to unlock your computer. So this way, if you're just at work and you're typing along, but then you get up and walk away, you know, you don't have to wait five minutes for your screensaver to kick in. A few seconds after you walk away, a computer locks. When you walk back, it unlocks. Now, there are programs that already do this. Here's an example of one. It's called uh, Blue Proximity, and um, it's in the repositories, and there's one or two other ones I've played with in the past. And uh, these are great, but I was like, eh, I can do this with a pretty short script. Um, and this is, these ones want you to uh, uh, link your devices, you know, connect to the device and all this. And, and I'm not even going to go through that with our script. It's going to see if the phone's there, it's there. And if it's not, it's going to lock the computer. And if it comes back, it's going to unlock the computer. So, but if you want to try this, it's called Blue Proximity. I, I, I had some trouble getting it to work exactly right. There was one I used a couple of years ago that worked pretty good. I don't remember what it's called, though. But let's jump right into our script. So I'm just going to start up uh, Vim. And we'll call this block for Bluetooth block. And I'll call it .sh. Start off with our normal bin bash there. And we're going to start a while loop. So this thing will loop forever until we kill the process. So while one, so while this is true, you know, do. And right away, I'm just going to put the done so I don't forget to do that later. And we're going to make a variable. We'll call it x. And then um, we're going to input a command. And once again, I always forget the name of this little symbol. But symbol, uh, I think it's called a tick, maybe. It's a... Uh, looks like a single quote, but it's not the single quote. It's the button next to the one on your top row of your keyboard. So we're going to use that. We're going to type in uh, TCI tool, Oop. scan. And so this is our command that's going to scan for Bluetooth devices. Now we're going to grep out all lines except for the one with the MAC address of our Bluetooth device, which actually we need to get. So let's quickly save this. Uh, in Vim, I hit escape, colon, W for write, and Q for quit. Okay, so let's do that. We'll do HCI tool and scan. And right now I have my Wii remote here. I'm going to press the two buttons to put it into visibility mode. going to hit enter, and it'll scan, and it should find my Wii remote here. Give it a few seconds. There we go. Tells us right here, this is the Nintendo, this is the name of the device. We want the MAC address. So I'm just gonna highlight that, go back into Vim, go here and then in quotations, oh, go into insert mode, in quotations, paste that MAC address, close the quotations, close our tick, and then we're going to continue the script. I'm gonna do here, I'm going to go if, and we're going to say x, whoops, lowercase x, and I'm going to use the uh, symbol exclamation point equals, which means does not equal. So as long as x does not equal nothing, what are we going to do? Then we're going to do this. We're going to echo, and this echo is more just for, so there's some output to our program on the screen. Device found. Put whatever you want. Phone found, device found. So we got that. Now I'm going to do our screensaver command. And so now if the phone is found, we're going to do gnome screensaver command dash D. And that will unlock the computer if it's locked if the phone is found. Else, so if that's not true, if uh, it does equal something, meaning it, it does not see the phone, um, we're going to go gnome dash screensaver dash command 
and L. So this will lock the, lock the computer if the phone is not seen. And we'll close our if statement. So that's it. That's the entire script. And in fact, I'm going to add up here. I'm going to add a clear. So every time it loops, it add, it clears the screen and so that we don't get device found scrolling down the screen like crazy. So we'll save that. Now we have to make that executable. So we'll change mode plus uh, X and we're going to call then we call that block dot sh. Now we can just run that command and uh, right now it should after a few seconds since my Wii remote is not in uh, discoverable mode anymore it will lock the screen here. There we go. Now if I press the 1 and 2 on my re Wii remote should put it back in discoverable mode and within a few seconds, it should unlock the screen. There we go. Now you can do the same thing with your cell phone. Now in a few seconds here, the Wii Remote's going to go out of discoverable mode. It stays in discoverable mode for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Um, but, okay, it just went out of uh, discoverable mode. So this is simulating us walking away from the computer into another room. And after a few seconds, it should realize the device is not there anymore and it should lock the screen. Give it a second. There we go. And if I move my mouse, you'll see that not just the screensaver is on, it is locked. I'll put the re Wii Remote back in a discoverable mode. Our loop is still going. It found it and unlocked the screen. So that is how you can secure your computer with your cell phone. Um, I mean, I don't normally suggest always having your phone in discoverable mode. Um, but if you wanted to do this little trick so that when you're at work, if you forget to lock your computer and you don't want to set your screensaver to like one minute or 30 seconds and you don't want it to be unlocked for five or 10 minutes, use this little script. It will be, uh, there'll be a link to it in the description to the script. If you just want to download it or just type it out like we did and, uh, screen's going to lock here and again in a second because the Wii remote just went out of discoverable mode. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. And I hope that you have a great day. And I turned the Wii Remote back on and it unlocked the screen for me. Have a great day.